welcome to the first UDIV video tutorial. We'll learn how to do this kind of animation. So when the user is on the page, this animation, this delayed animation happens. So first, let's understand how to create this timed animation, okay? Just go to this uh, plugin, Visibility.js GitHub, and then you will find here lots of explanation, but for our use, it's pretty simple. We just need to install in the WordPress. So let's find here, CBN. Just copy here. Let's go to dashboard. Um, I use custom CSS in JS to handle all the custom codes on Divi. Why? Because Divi theme option custom CSS is good, but it doesn't have the highlight syntax. So when you start learning how to code, the co different colors helps you to, to write faster. So let's use this, okay? So add HTML code to the head. So main dot now and header. Oh, it's over here. It was hidden. Publish. Okay. So first part is done. Now we need to call the application because we just installed in the WordPress. Now we need to activate it. So let's go to add custom JS. Okay, let's erase this. And here. You can get all this code from the blog post, okay? So let's understand. It's calling the plugin we just installed. So we are adding this class that I'll talk later to this, the um, section, row, or module that has this class on it, animation one. Okay. And it will happen after one second. So the first row on the demo is this. The second two seconds after the use is on the page, the user is on the page, and three seconds, the third row. Okay, so let's again publish here. Okay, now you saw there is a sliding blurred animation, and we can get from here, Animista. This one is a very cool library. It has lots of animation, and I'm looking forward to make a lot of tutorials on that. The one that we used is this, sliding bird. Okay, so you just copy the code here, and I have it right here. Uh, it's very cool to maintain where you get it from, because you give credit to who deserve it. So just get it here. You can get it from the blog post. Custom CSS. Okay. And publish. Perfect. Now what we need to do? We need to get the layout back from the blog. So the code should be working on all modules that you want to put the code, but let's use like the demo. Just come here, download. And here's the JSON file. It's in Portuguese, but here is download. So just download it. Okay. And go to pages. Create the page. And then let's import using these arrows.
Okay, let's preview the changes. So it doesn't happen anything because we need to add the animation classes. So let's go here. Animation one. Okay. Animation two. Animation three. But did you see that when the page loaded, it opacity was one, so that's re reloaded. So I see, and then it happens. So we need to place opacity zero for those classes. Okay, so let's come here, let's update this. Let's go to our CSS. Uh, we can place it right here. Animation one. Um, and it's valid for animation two. And animation three. Opacity zero. Do you see the color changes? It's, it's pretty easier to write code with this highlight syntax. That's why a plugin is good. And DV team has the custom CSS is very good, but I prefer installing a plugin for it right now. It may change later, I don't know. So let's update. And let's see the changes. See? That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and please give me feedback so I can get better faster because I have lots of tutorials online. So if you like it, please tell me, okay? Thank you.